Anyway, good. Well, that must mean it's week three of the Adlington Village News, courtesy of the Adlington Broadcasting Corporation. Or is it week four of the lockdown? I'm not sure. Either way, time means nothing now. Apart from everything else, we're having a long weekend. It's Bank Holiday Monday. I actually recorded this on Friday, um, but now it was so terrible, it went in the bin. I thought this is going to have to be done again. We've got some extra special correspondence for you this week. Dan Soulsby is uh, going to be in touch live as soon as the satellite crosses the sky above uh, Hexham uh, or Corbridge, uh, then Dan will be joining us. Uh, Lee, Lee Thomason, our French correspondent, will be uh, hoping to improve on his previous performance and will be joining him in a few minutes too. Um, this week's show is sponsored by the Adlington Collective of Pubs or the Joint Collective of Adlington Publicans or something. Anyway, JCAP, let's call it. Uh, so hats off to the top spinners and salute to JRs. And also, namaste to its less fashionable cousin, the White Horse up the road. <clears throat> other pubs are available, obviously, uh, as indeed are other villages. Feel free, go to Black Rod or Orange, mm. where there are other equally delightful pubs. I'm sure it's just that I've never been and never will, frankly. So, uh, what are we doing first? Oh, yeah, is everybody else all right that, that we are literally now a nation of alcoholics? I mean, what other country would deem off licenses essential businesses? And wine orders have gone through the roof, apparently. Wine. Who drinks wine? Girls and southerners, probably. What about online home Guinness for Timmy? But no, nobody thinks of that. Uh, for those who remember from episode one, I'm growing my own tomatoes and, as it turns out, bak choy, which is some kind of Chinese lettuce. Um, anyway, uh, so here, here's the progress uh, pictures now. Oh, and you'll have noticed I've got some new software, so I can point at something and a little box will appear on screen, uh, like this one now, of uh, the lovely Dawn and equally delightful Snowy, who uh, sent me a message that uh, the other day, actually Friday, was uh, National Pet Day. Be nice to your pets. I mean, who's not going to be nice? Why would you have a pet if you're not going to be nice? Anyway, the point is, pets can't wait for the lockdown to be over. Um, well, dogs. Dogs are happy enough, aren't they? They're idiots, you know, just blah, blah, blah. Cats can't wait for us to all get back to the office. Um, or factory or wherever people work. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, I uh, happened to stumble across some 70s advertising, which I'd like to share with you now. Featuring Campari, Pepsi, Head and Shoulders. Do you remember Kelly LeBrock from The Woman in Red? There she is now. Well, she did a Head and Shoulders uh, commercial, probably, in fact, by the looks of things, before she started acting lessons. Uh, it's truly terrible. And then, if you don't want a Peugeot 305 at the end of this commercial, there's something wrong with you. And uh, forgive the extreme sexual content at the end of this. Roll VT. This is Soda, of course. No, lemonade. Campari and lemonade. And I haven't used anything else since. Excellent, I think you'll agree. Um, now, time, I think, the satellite's just over Newcastle, which means we can go live to Dan. Are you there? Dan Soulsby in Corbridge, Northumberland. Dan, can you hear me? Uh, thanks, Tim. Yes, uh, news just reaching us in Northumberland here uh, of an incident involving a cyclist whereby a council salt lorry accidentally uh, spread the salt all over the cyclist as he drove by. Early indications are the cyclist was not happy and indeed shouted expletives at the lorry driver, uh, albeit through gritted teeth. Um, when we have more on this story, I will of course update you. That's all for now. Thank you. <clears throat> Good old Dan. Lovely lad. Comes from a great family. Uh, now then, and in fact, he's been round Adlington. I took him to the top spinners. Tragically, he had to stay up at the Bay Horse, but you know, pff, tomato, potato. Um, now, the international section, where we're all, fingers crossed, that Lee is going to tell us something funny. Lee, over to you. Bonjour. Bonjour, Timmy. How are you, sir? Yes, I can't believe we got cut off last time. It must have been some kind of dodgy connection. Oh. Oh, what happened? I think we must have lost the satellite feed. 
to the middle of France. Johnny Frenchman probably went on strike, who knows? Anyway, um, thanks Lee. You know, more from Lee next week, you'll be delighted to learn. It was actually all right when me and Lee used to do the sort of double header podcast. We were actually in the same room uh, and at least I could switch off while he was talking and read me notes or something. Now I've just got to pretend he's there. Um, but, uh, you know, small mercies. At least he's not breathing the same oxygen as me. Anyway, uh, before we go, film and TV review. What's on your Amazon, Netflix, lockdown entertainment? Uh, first of all, a couple of great British films. Tiny stories told in a beautiful way. One is Blinded by the Light, a young lad growing up in 80s Luton, which is not a very pleasant place to be, I can assure you. Of, uh, uh, he's brought out of his misery by the lyrics and probably music of Bruce Springsteen. Never been a fan, and frankly I'm not a fan now, but the film is great and it's got a real good uh, vibe to it. The other one is Fisherman's Friends, a lot of old Cornish seamen singing. <laughs> Just realised what I've said. So Fisherman's Friends, seamen, fill in your own gags now. Uh, <clears throat> on television, two brilliant series, Hunters, starring Al Pacino and a load of other great people, uh, hunting Nazis in 70s New York. Brilliant. Uh, and finally, where's this other one? Future Man. For any fan of Seth Rogen, great stuff. He pays homage to homage, homage, anyway, homage to uh, almost every sci-fi film you've seen um, from the 80s onwards. That's probably for people aged 30 and upwards. Uh, but maybe even people younger than 30, like Alicia, Abs, Rachel, you're just scraping in as an under 30 in my book. Um, maybe you've seen some sci-fi films in the 80s, who knows? Anyway, but on that note, I think that's enough from me. It's just about time. And uh, happy Monday to you. Namaste. Shalom and Lachayim.